Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Roslyn. On this channel, I feature lifestyle, inspiration, and a lot of self-care. In today's video, I'm going to share my fire cider recipe. Let's get started. All right, so fire cider is an herbal tonic that many people use for its numerous health benefits. It's said to increase immunity, improve blood circulation and digestion, and just a lot of other benefits. And it really depends on the components that are added to the fire cider. So one of the things that I like to use is horseradish root. I like it because it's rich in antioxidants, which can help protect your body from cellular damage by attaching themselves to free radicals. There are some studies that suggest that horseradish may prevent growth of colon, lung, and stomach cancer cells, but there's not enough research at this moment. The second thing that I like to use is garlic. I like garlic because it fights bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even parasites. The third thing that I like to use is ginger. It's loaded with antioxidants. It helps with immunity. It helps with nausea, skin, and weight loss. The fourth thing that I like to use is turmeric. It helps with arthritis, digestive orders, respiratory infections, and also allergies. The next thing that I like to use is onions. It actually contains antioxidant compounds that fight inflammation and it also helps to uh, reduce the cholesterol levels, um, all of which may help to lower your heart disease risk. All right, so the next one that I like to use is jalapeno peppers. It helps with weight loss, also helps with the immune system. It boosts your eyesight. It also has um, anti-cancer properties and it helps with pain. The other thing that I like to use in there is oranges. I love oranges because they boost your immunity as well. They also improve the appearance of your skin and they help you maintain your vision, prevent heart related diseases. They also reduce the development of ulcers in the stomach and prevent hair loss. And I like to pack on the oranges. Other thing that I like to use is lemons. They're a rich source of vitamin C and they are a powerful antioxidant. They help to lower the stroke risk, your blood pressure, cancer prevention, um, and then they help with your complexion as well. Now I do like to add rosemary to mine. It is a powerful antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. When you consume rosemary regularly, you can potentially help lower the risk of an infection and help the immune system fight any infections that may occur. The other thing that I like to put in there is thyme. It actually contains a variety of minerals and vitamins that promote good health. Thyme is full of vitamin C for immune support, potassium for healthy cell, and manganese for bone development and blood. And it's such a good addition to this tonic. All right, so this year I added some cranberries. I like cranberries because they help to reduce inflammation. They improve the heart health and your digestive health. They also help protect against gastric ulcers and stomach cancers. Now, when I make this tonic, I will usually eyeball everything. I'm going to actually put some measurements down below that you can use. But what you want to do is combine all the ingredients except for the honey and the apple cider vinegar in a large glass jar. And once you do that, you want to pour the apple cider vinegar in there and then you want to cover it and seal it. You want to shake it um, as well as you can. And every couple of days you want to take it out and shake it and you want to keep it in a dark place for at least two to four weeks. And after that, you can remove it, you can strain it, and you can add your honey to it. And then after that, you can store the remaining liquid in the refrigerator. Now you can use this as a wellness shot. You can use it in herbal teas. You can add it to your kids' juice. You can add it to soups and sauces and marinades, as salads, dressing, and meat dishes. So many different uses for it. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.